I just want to put it across to you that uh, there was an attack at the World Pastoral Center very early this morning, around 2.15 a.m. Some of these vehicles were bombed, so fire service came to, you know, assist the much they, you know, can to stop the fire from, you know, causing more damages. We are yet to confirm exactly what happened. But, uh, like I said, at the appropriate time, we must have gotten all the information ready. We will address them all Well, you should issues. be able to identify that person. Is he is 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 uh, well, an official as, or as, an inmate? As I've just said it, I will have addressed that issue at the appropriate time. Let us... Okay, the whole sir. thing is still okay. sketchy. Sir, 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 are the inmates intact or are there some that are missing? I said I will address people at the appropriate time on all these issues. I, so, by the I said I will address people at the appropriate time. Well, for more on this story, let's join our correspondent, Tokwe Kutei, who is on ground following that story. Well, Tokwe, uh, what's the atmosphere in Imo State? I mean, such brazen attack on law enforcement must have rattled the residents. So what's the feelings you're getting from the people? Okay, first, um, before I could get um, to the office this morning, it was um, a, a, a big task because um, usually at intervals, you see security operatives um, uh, at um, major um, junctions, trying to prevent people from, especially on the roads leading to the government house, the police headquarters, and the prison, um, the correctional center and headquarters here in Owe. But um, people are going about their lawful um, duties and um, doing the normal businesses, but the security in Imo right now is um, tight and um, I can also tell you that um, the tension is still um, very high, as uh, you see in the residents of the states gathered in clusters discussing this issue that um, happened uh, overnight in the United States. But I can tell you, for now, it's, it's, it's peaceful, even though the tension is still high. Well, uh, I understand that the custodial center in Imo and uh, the police station may not have been the only casualties of these gunmen. So where else did they attack any talk about casualties? What more can you say in that light? Okay, as we're still waiting for the authorities to come up with the accurate um, data of um, people or persons that were involved in, in, in this uh, incident, news filtered in that Along on each road, um, specifically at a place called Unkwaji um, military checkpoint, where um, you see army officials morning, afternoon, and night always there um, trying to check um, vehicles passing. Um, from the visuals um, we sent earlier, you could see that as the, these armed men were leaving the police headquarters, going through on each road through the Unkwaji military checkpoint. They burnt down this um, military checkpoint. And um, according to unconfirmed reports, at least one person was killed. Therefore, we don't know um, the identity of the person, if the person was um, an army official or just um, a passerby. But uh, as of this minute, what we know is that one person was killed at that point and the military checkpoint set ablaze. Well, earlier on, we saw that you were uh, speaking uh, with the uh, head of the correctional center uh, right there in Oweri. And, you know, there were questions as to what specifically happened regarding casualties and, and you know, the, maybe the, the facility that was destroyed. But uh, what more are you hearing from the police? Because this attack also took place, uh, affected the police station, the correctional uh, centers and even the government. Okay, like I said earlier, presently we're still waiting for them to come up with uh, the accurate um, data of what had happened. I just spoke to the police PRO, um, Orlando Ikoku, a few minutes ago, and he said um, they're still trying to um, gather the data and all. I also spoke to the, um, uh, the public relations person of the correctional center. He told me the same thing um, in person of James Matuba. I also spoke to the Army PRO here in um, 34 Atlai Brigade, Obinze. Uh, that's um, um, Lieutenant um, um, Colonel uh, Zuberu. So he said he's still trying to gather the, the, the especially on the on each attack, on each route attack, as well as gather their, their, their thoughts together. So as soon as I get this information, I, 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 I'll get across to you. 
What, one more thing a lot of people are wondering is uh, if any arrest has been made with such attack, and I understand it took quite some time uh, for this attack to happen. Has any arrest been made? Have the police given out any information regarding that? Because I recall that the IGP of police had asked the police to be on high alert across the nation, especially during the Easter celebration, you know, providing security for key national assets and, you know, facilities. So has any arrest been made specifically? So presently, there, there's no information on any arrest um, being made by the police. And like I said, they said they are still putting um, their data together, information together. But as it is now, there's no arrest for now. So we're still waiting for, for, for the outcome from the police. Well, Tokwe, please let us know when you have more information uh, concerning that attack. And we'll definitely uh, let our viewers know. But we'd like to thank you so much for the update so far. Tokwe Kutei is our correspondent in Imo State. Thank you.